Welcome everyone. Well, just a few hours ago, I received this letter from Bangkwang Central Prison, otherwise known as the Bangkok Hilton. And as you can see, the sender was Zor Lin, who is one of two scapegoats convicted of the murders of Hannah Witheridge and David Miller on the strength of some very bogus DNA evidence, uh, as well as on the strength of confessions that were extracted under torture uh, by a very corrupt Royal Thai Police Force. Anyway, I am about to share the letter with you now because uh, that is what uh, Zorlin uh, likes me to do. I received it today, which is the 21st of June 2022, and it reads as follows. Dear Ian Yarwood, how are you today? I hope you are in good health and everything is fine with you. I received two postcards from you recently. I really appreciate it and I thank you very much for taking the time to write to me. I'm still getting many postcards and letters from all over the world. Uh, grace to the book Suzanne wrote and the documentary she did. And for those of you who are not aware, uh, the book that he's talking about is this one here, The Curse of the Turtle, The True Story of Thailand's Backpacker Murders, which is available on Amazon for those of you who have not yet purchased it. And I highly recommend that book. And the uh, documentary, of course, is called Death on the Beach, uh, which has got some gems in the first two of the three episodes. The third episode is a bit of a train wreck, uh, and uh, overall the book is uh, vastly superior, but if you haven't checked out the, uh, the three-part series, that is available uh, in a box set as well. And I'll continue. Most of the postcards and letters are from America and England. They said that they are so sorry about what happened to me, even though I am not their son or brother, they can still feel the intensity of suffering a mother, a father, a brother or a sister can feel when facing such a situation. Recently I wrote in Myanmar language to the uh, supporters from the organisation which used to help me over the years to push the military government to help for a treaty or for my freedom. Because the military government used to visit me under the command of military chief. They once visited uh, 1 December 2019 and once December 2020. I hope they could do something to help me as they all know I am an innocent man. I was very glad to know that you have got my previous letters. I thank you very much for posting information about my story and I think it would keep social media interest in me. Take good care of yourself. I send all my best wishes. Regards, Zorlin. So that's it, short and sweet. And on behalf of Zorlin, thank you to everyone, whether they are in uh, America, uh, you know, whether it's in the United States or Canada, or whether they're in England or any other part of the world for uh, taking the trouble to write to Zorlin. You can see that he does appreciate it. Unfortunately, he is very limited on how many letters he can send out, so um, not that many of you will receive a thank you letter or a thank you note for him, from him, but you can tell that he certainly appreciates the cards and letters. And I will uh, put an address for him and an address for YPO on the screen here for you, and if by any miracle they get out of prison, I will uh, make a note in the description below uh, to that effect so that you don't wind up sending letters to someone who's already been, been freed. Thank you very much for your attention and bye for now.